we are going to do this uh, square pyramid problem with the slant edge okay this problem we are going to do today in the solid software so first we are going to do the sheet setup making the sheet as a4 now we draw an x y line and draw an x y line now of thickness 0.25 mm So here you can see we have to construct a square of dimension 35 with respect to corner position. So we will go to rectangle with center 0 0.50 here dimension 35 here also 35 angle we give 45 degree. So we are going to place it. We show the dimension on one side and we are going to write the dimension C, B, C, D. Now we have to show the slant edges, slant edges, so, yeah. now we can mention here, two, here, two, one, okay, now projection line, projection line is 0 0.3 mm, So axis length it is 60. So, <clears throat> so here in axis it is covered by the end uh, slant edge B01. So that's why it is a straight line we have to show here 60. Okay. And the name is <clears throat> B dash B dash. C dash and here C dash in bracket one dash and now we have to place it with respect to you can see this on the slant edge we have to do it so for that we will be selecting this whole laminate Using move command creates a copy of it and move along the line. Okay, now we have to tilt it with respect to this resting edge C and O like this. So after tilting it, as a one of the line. Similarly, we have D point. D point it is a bit here. Okay. So we can write the namings. A, B, C, D, and here exactly the center. O1, and this is our O point. Now we construct the outer boundary line first. Okay. See this uh, triangular face visible from the top view, so it will be continuous line. Okay. We need to think uh, this point it is here, and this point it is here. Okay. So now you see that uh, a a a dash to a dash it is visible, so that's why it is a continuous line. 
from C to C to over it is dash line also part of the line here and finally axis line I want to show the axis line here from this O end to here. So now so angle of inclination to VP is 45 degree. It on this okay now project it upward to complete the <coughs> second position here so till here it is o dash so we have a we get in here a dash at this point we have b dash in this point we have c dash similarly we have c dash and finally, from here, <coughs> O1 to here, this O1 dash. So we can write the name in now. <coughs> A dash, B dash, C dash. We construct the <coughs> base of the pyramid. Okay. Now slant edges. You can see the slant edges from B to O. It is continuous line. Again, from A to O dash also it is continuous line. From C to O it is also continuous line. But from D dash to O dash is passing inside of this base. Okay. So that's why it is a dashed line. From D dash to O dash, and finally we have an axis. Okay. So this completes the problem. This hexagonal pyramid problem with the slant triangular face and the bit angle. Okay. So this problem we are going, going to do in a solid edge software. This has to be a continuous line. <coughs> Here, I have to construct X again with respect to edge. Okay. So, before going to polygon presenter, make sure this icon. Maintain relationship icon has to be on, okay, to use the polygon center. So here we have six sides, thickness 0 0.50. With respect to edge, we have to place it. Dimension 25. So you need to draw a smaller hexagon. Okay, that, that is a trick in it uh, to draw hexagon with respect to the exact dimensions. Okay. So we have to give thickness, okay. Now uh, we have to draw <coughs> the diagonals because, because we have to show the slant edges, right? So that's why, okay. So now we will keep the naming A, B, C, D, E, F, and we have O and O1. Okay. So now project it. <coughs> so here axis length here we have 50. Okay. So the projection line first we have to do it. Okay. 
Okay. Can write the namings for it. V dash visible, but A dash not visible. Similarly, to the other one, A dash visible, but F dash not visible. And here, V dash visible, but F dash not visible. Similarly, we have. So it is slant triangular faces. Similar. So we have to place it with the slant triangular face here. Move it first. So when you're moving, you have to make sure it has to be on the line. Okay. So now we can uh, tilt it. Select the ends in this OM place it on this now you select it and then move it along the line okay so now we have to project it downward to complete the <coughs> second position top view Now the naming we have to give, so we have to be careful here on writing. So here we get uh, E, uh, here we get a D, in this point it is a C, in this point it is B, and this point it is A. Uh, this point it is F. Okay. And this point to use the O and this move one. Now outer boundary line we have to construct first. We can start from any of the end here. Okay. Then to here. completes outer uh, border line now <clears throat> so you can see this this hexagonal face visible from the top view okay we'll uh, complete okay. you can see that uh, we are able to see this dco from the top view. okay okay so this uh, But here this end uh, triangular face not visible that's why it is uh, e to o dash and d to o dash triangular face this dash line then this line okay. now it is a bit angle first we have to first a triangle line of 45 degree Line here uh, to give minus Now you can see that we have to measure this axis length and this length. First axis length we have to use 50. Take our way. Okay. Take a reference point and here 50 we have to give and sweep. Now here we have to draw a locus line at the intersection of these two points. Now we have to cut another arc. This center. Arc of 45 point, uh, 45 point in double eight. 
After cutting the arc, we have to go to line, it takes axis and here we have to connect these points, this point with respect to this point, we have to connect, and then after this go to extend and here we have to extend this line and find out the angle of the inclination is 50 degrees. Here also we are getting 50 degree. So now we have to copy the diagram. This this diagram we have to copy it. So go to move, create a copy, select end point and here. That's it. Again go to and that's the same point right here. Okay. We have to project it to complete the final position. Okay, here we have A, this point right here, B point also. Now the C point. Yes, also we can here. So this point is F. So we have also entered here. Okay. I think C point I'm getting here, but D point on the line I think I'm getting. Now finally so this O one point O one point we are getting also here we are creating this here O point O point on the next file line. Okay. First, we have to construct the hexagonal base here. Okay. Now, slant edges. You see that from B dash to O dash continuous line, C dash to O dash continuous line, D dash to O dash also continuous line. But inside, you can see that. So, here from A dash to the O dash point, this dash will line, from A dash to O dash continuous line, and dash will line. And finally, we have to show an axis. Okay, this also done. Okay, so, this completes the problem.